You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to... Well, I'll just run to the Chronogon. There's something in the Chronogon. I can't get to the Chronogon from here. Hey, get back. Mock my authority, will you? You who? I have to go to the. Oh. I'll use the Chronogon. I don't think that would look better white. And I thought glow in the dark fake do- Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. That's right, an incredible... That's right, an incredible... My dad has one of these in his den. No way, I'm not touching that junk. Look, gravity has reversed itself over there. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you? Nice. I am put out. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth.
Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? No. Pity. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. Can you all? Sure. Well, in that case. Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. Yo, Tom. Thomas. So, how's the time capsule going? Very well. Now that you've provided that fine recent vintage wine, I plan to bury it this evening. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. We don't know whether to call it the Bill of Rights or Appendix A. I sure hope someone gives us a useful suggestion soon. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? I've got better things to do. Hi there. Hello. What's with the canary over the fireplace? Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know the building's on fire and we run like crazy. Well, why doesn't the fire in the fireplace set it off? I assume it's because all the smoke goes up and out the chimney. Who thought of it? It was invented by Red Edison, the owner of the inn. Who feeds the canary? Actually, no one does. It's a self-feeding canary. It's specially bred with some kind of nutrient-producing bacteria in its gizzard. It's quite a time saver. I expect everyone will have them in the future. I see. Amazing, isn't it? Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a fine powder, and that blanket was really making me itch. Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. What about the national theme song and stuff?
First things first, we have to resolve the deadlock on the bird issue. You see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. What's so great about the turkey? They've helped us to survive since we set foot on this continent. They're symbolic of prosperity and the thanks we give for our lives here. Besides, they're kind of cute. Don't you guys have anything better to do? Such as what? We'll figure out what to do about the national debt. Debt? This is a prosperous country. We don't have a debt. What's wrong with the eagle? Well, it's a bird of prey for one thing. I don't think that's an appropriate symbol for our country. I see. Good. Well, gotta go. Goodbye. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! Oh, mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery.
There, it's off, but it's too. What beautiful, clear water. Keep out, area contaminated with industrial waste. Mmm, that looks inviting. Get back in! I got better things to do than keep locked. You who? I have to go to the bath. Oh.
Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrants will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Couldn't I please touch the clock? Sorry, no. No one touches the clock while I'm on duty. Aren't you curious about what's inside the clock? Not really. Guarding it is more or less the same no matter what's inside. Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Why, I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He led me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. You couldn't possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Putrefied squirrel intestines? Good heavens! Well, be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I could regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. That ice looks incredibly old. I can't pick it up. Maybe I can open it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy.
need to get it charged first. It's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. Nobody I know. Looks comfortable. It looks like a poodle I once knew. I don't want it. I don't want it. It... He's too heavy to carry. What an interesting mannequin. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I'm concerned about the human show. Is it really moral? It reminds me of American politics. There's something else about the human show. Where am I going to find a human to enter? Most of the humans are probably entered already. Do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? It's not so different from talking to guys at med school. Except you probably know more than most of them. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. Is that what the well-dressed Egyptian wore? I've got to get power to my chronogen. I guess I could wait for a lightning storm. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? You're ready to go now. Not my style. I'm not that crazy. Classy. No way, those groovy. Great Scott! You're purple. Uh, um. Yes? Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? Why, yes, I'm a firm believer in human rights. <laughs> I'd almost think you were serious. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Are you the same Purple Tentacle who knew Dr. Fred? Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Do you mind? You're disrupting my concentration. According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. 
I don't want to disturb anything with Santa Claus over there eyeballing me. It's behind the glass. I'd rather not. I can't. It's behind the glass. Ooh. 